there is so much potential guys and i want you guys to understand the urgency and the need for something like this hey guys welcome back to another video today's video is going to be about building an online presence and the importance of it i realized that i didn't show you the lake last time properly um, so i'm going to add it in now and just to give you an idea of how beautiful it is there um, i can't believe how busy it was there today The reason I decided to make this video today is I've realized a lot of businesses aren't taking the fact that they aren't online uh, serious enough. You and a friend have decided to go out for lunch somewhere. So you jump onto Google, you look up the restaurant and you think to yourself, okay fine, what type of food do we want? So you choose Mexican for example. You look up what's the best Mexican rest restaurant in the area and two restaurants pop up. And of those two restaurants, one is just a plain Jane normal uh, website telling you, hey, this is, where, this is where the restaurant is. This is what the menu looks like. Please book in advance. And the other website, when you click on it, has a dynamic video on it. It tells you about the vibe. It has music attached to it. It shows you the type of people that go there. It shows you the surrounding area that's booming and vibrant. I want to ask you, which restaurant are you going to pick? 99.9% .9 of the time you're going to pick that second restaurant because it looks so much more inviting and that's what today's video is going to be about. So the idea behind this is building an online presence. This is not only to do with businesses but also as individuals. We especially in South Africa need to start putting our best foot forward and start realizing that online presence is vitally important. I was watching a video earlier this afternoon and the guy was saying boring puts you out of business. Now. I know what a lot of you are thinking, yeah, but what if I'm an introvert? It doesn't matter. What you need to do, be doing is documenting the journey. Whether it's for a business or for you in, individually, simply documenting the journey is a nice, interesting way of getting people engaged into what you're doing. Now, if it's a business, showing behind the scenes, the music, making it inviting, entertaining. People want to have an experience when they go to a place not just go there for food, especially if it's, if it's a sit-down restaurant. The same can be applied to any type of business, whether it's furniture, whether it's clothing, whether it's anything. If you don't grab people's attention and they don't know who you are in today's day and age, you're going to be left behind and the crowd is going to take over. And trust me, the up-and-coming youngsters of today know exactly what social media is all about. If you approach any of them and look at their Instagram, their Facebook, their Twitter, their TikTok, you can see that they know that they need to grasp the people's attention in order to build a brand, in order to build a business, in, build, in order to build a persona online. So having said all of that, I want to know what you guys think about this concept. Whether you own a business or don't own a business, what do you think about online presence, about building a brand? And when I say brand, I don't only mean a business brand I mean you you individually are a brand people buy into you if you look at celebrities even nowadays long gone are the days where simply being an actor on a movie was enough nowadays they are all on social media they are all on Instagram they're all on YouTube they've all got some other brand they either have a clothing line a makeup line they have something else look at Dwayne Johnson the, the rock the wrestler he has done so much in such a short period of time he works so hard he's got a great team behind him and if you look at his social media presence he has a tequila brand he has a production brand for video and film he has he's obviously a well-known actor with many great movies movies under his belt he is a wrestler i mean the list goes on and on and on and do you think he just sits back and gives up no he keeps on gets up every morning half past four and he gets out and he gets to work gets to grind he starts out with the workout then he goes on with the rest of his day i want to encourage you all to not wait until it is too late it's going to get to a point where every single individual is going to be on the social on social platforms they're going to be on youtube they're going to be everywhere and if you don't start early building up your brand building up your presence you're going to be left behind in a saturated market where it's going to be hard to break through and make an impact already as it is it is so 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 hard to create a youtube channel get the reach you want and make an impact that you're trying to make now the reason i created this channel originally is not only because it's a dream of mine but i want to help people i think the south african market when it comes to youtube and social media is still very young 
and we've got a lot to do in terms of catching up if you look at other markets like the US UK and other other areas in the world they are so far ahead of us in terms of social media that we need to come to the game and make it work you must also remember your target audience comes from various places especially when you're online you can have people from all over the world when they come and visit South Africa they can know about your business because they've seen you already online when they're searching for something if you have an online social presence as soon as they search for the specific thing whether it's food or whether it's a nice place to hang out or whatever as soon as they search it and if you're using keywords research properly your place is gonna pop up and you're gonna get more business for it more traffic more engagement and you know what there is no reason why you can't start right now if this is something you really want to do and if you understand the impact that it's gonna make on you personally and your brand and your business you would have started 10 years ago there's a lot of old school businesses and although there's a lot of lot of things that we can learn from old school businesses there's also a lot that they can learn from the younger generation and getting online and building your presence online is one of those things if you're not online you're invisible marketing has been around for years it used to be on television then it moved on to newspapers now it's on social media everything's electronic we all have one of these you can actually record your stuff on, on these as well and everyone who carries one of these whenever they're looking for something where's the first place they go to they go to Google they go to Facebook they ask for recommendations on Facebook there is so much potential guys and I want you guys to understand the urgency and the need for something like this if you guys need help and direction let me know I'm here I'm learning myself but I can share the knowledge that I have to help you get to the place where you want to be with your business and your personal brand. Guys, start creating, get out there, and have a great day. As always, if you made it to this part of the video, thank you so much. I truly appreciate you. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you, yes, all of you, in the next video, guys. Cheers.